Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to explain you how to create this type of base plate in Tecla Structures 2022 version with this PDF example. I will provide this PDF example link in the description. Please download and practice along with this video. Okay, let's start. Open Tecla Structures in Indian environment. Now I am going to create views first. So deactivate this option, direct modification, then click on this grid, right click on mouse create views along grid lines. Now type here before grid elevation on grid and select use the sh shortcut control A to select all and control C for copy and delete and control V for paste. Now click on create then click on OK. You can see now we have view list here elevations and plan views here. Now close it to open view list click on here and select view list and for example we're going to take here planet zero and click on this arrow to open now i'm going to place the column at here so click on steel and select this column and click on here to place the column you can see now we have column right click on most interrupt now open our example pdf example in our PDF example, you can see orientation horizontally. So we're going to rotate this column. So double click on it. Now we're going to change the column profile, column size. So in our example, we have column size ISMB 350. So we're going to change the profile first. So by default, we have ISMB 400. So click on here. And we're going to select this ISMB 350. Then click on apply OK. Now click on modify to see the change here. You can see now this column size should be ISMB 350. Now coming to column height, you can see now bottom level we have 0 and top level we have 3000 level. So we are going to change the column height. So click on here window and select this 3D view. And by default we have top level 5000. Now we are going to change into 3000 and bottom level 0. Now click on modify to see the result here. You can see now bottom level should be 0 and top level should be 3000. Now coming to orientation, click on window and select this plan view. In, you can see in our example, we have horizontal orientation. So we need to rotate this column. So under position option, you can see rotation. Click on here front and we need to select here top to rotate 90 degrees. Then click on modify. You can directly enter the value here also currently we're using uh, under this list so select this top and click on modify you can see you can change like this now close this window click on window and select this 3d view you can see now we have column like this use the shortcut control r and pick the rotation point here then use the control on mouse middle button or scroll button to rotate like this you can see Okay, now I'm going to create base plate at the bottom of this column. You can see in our example, we have base plate like this. We have length 400 and width 200 and thickness 16 millimeter. And we have anchor rod size here, anchor rod 20 dia, anchor rod and total length 500 millimeter. Okay, we have information here. We're going to apply this base plate to that column. So Go to application components by using the shortcut control F or you can click on here directly. Click on here to open the application component window. And here in search bar, click on here and enter. Type here base plate. Base plate. You can see we have base plate here 1042. For this example, you can use this base plate 1042 base plate. So select this base plate and you can see in command bar it asking pick part. We need to select the column first so click on column and you can see now it asking pick position so we need to pick at exactly gradient section point when move this cursor uh, at a gradient section you will get this symbol gradient section then click on it to apply this base plate uh, to the bottom of this column you can see now we have base plate right click on mouse interrupt and close this window and use the shortcut control 4 for render view for column and use the shift 4 for base plate render view 
you can see now I have base plate like this by default now we need to change this base plate size according to our example okay now i'm going to change this base plate according to this example so double click on this base plate to open the component window now click on here parts tab and under parts tab you need to enter here thickness of this plate in our example we have plate thickness 16 millimeters so we need to enter here 16 millimeter no need to enter the width and the height we're going to enter this width and the height according to bolt edge and pitch distance so no need to enter here width and height and our length of this base plate here we need to enter only the thickness and you can enter the prefix and start number for numbering so let's take uh, for base plate we're going to take here base plate bp is the prefix base plate and start number we need to take here always take takes from number one and the name also we're going to enter here base plate base plate okay then click on modify to see the result here you can see just drag and place it here and click on modify to see the change here you can see now this base plate thickness should be 16 millimeter now i'm going to change the anchor rod uh, here so click on here anchor rod tab and uh, rod profile we have in our example 16 millimeter you can see sorry anchor rod we have 20 millimeter so we need to enter 20 uh, millimeter dia anchor rod so click on here profile catalog and we need to select here circular section and click on here plus symbol to open this options now click on this rod and we need to enter here 20 millimeter now click on apply ok now click on modify to see the result but uh, to display this anchor rod, so you should select here base plate with anchor rod. Now click on modify to see the result here. You can see now this anchor rod should be 20 millimeter diam. Similarly, we, need, we can uh, enter the nut and washer profiles also. So to display the an uh, nut and washer profiles here, you need to select here under cre create option. This first option uh, indicates the nut profile and the second option indicates the washer profile so click on here and select s and click on here and select s for nut and washer then click on modify to see the result here you can see by default we have profile like this now we're going to change this profile so under the nut profile option here then click on here profile catalog and uh, here we need to enter nut before strike nut and click on uh, filter to uh, update the filters options here now click on here plus symbol and click on plus and these are the default nut profiles uh, currently we, we have the anchor rod size is the 20 millimeter so we need to select here nut m20 hs then click on apply ok now click on modify to see the result here the nut profile will be changed you can see now this nut profile should be m20 nut similarly you can change the washer profiles also for example click on here uh, under this list we don't have any uh, default or uh, washer profiles so we need to take from circular halo section so click on here and select see hs is the circular halo section now diameter or uh, outer dia d is indicates the outer dia outer dia for example we're going to take here 40 millimeter and uh, plate thickness indicates the thickness from uh, inner uh, dia to outer dia so for example we're going to take here eight millimeter then click on apply okay click on modify to see the result here you can see now this washer should be 40 millimeter outer dia and inside is the 24 millimeter inside dia hole to see the uh, inside dia hole you can click on here and select no uh, to create the nut profile then click on modify you can see now this thickness should be 8 millimeter from inner dia to outer dia according to this example you can see outer dia is a 40 millimeter from this option okay now click on here and click on here s then click on modify to create the nut once again like this okay now coming to this anchor rod profile you can see uh, currently the rod is uh, straight but we need to change this profile then click on here you can see now we have different types of profiles anchor rod uh, bottom shapes so okay. by default we're going to take uh, this L profile so select it and click on modify to see the result here you can see 
L band anchor like this. Okay, you can control the length of this anchor from here. In our example, we have uh, by default total anchor length is the 500 millimeter and projection from top of display to or top of this anchor is the 50 millimeter. So by default, we have 500 millimeter from top of anchor to bottom anchor is the 500 meter length and the projection is the 50 millimeter. So no need to change these values. If you, you want to change according to your design, you can change from these options. Okay, similarly, we're going to change this thickness of this washer. So to control this thickness of washer, you can control from here, you can see this option. For example, thickness of the washer, we're going to take here 4 millimeter, then click on modify to see the result. You can see now this thickness should be 4 millimeter. According to uh, your washer availability, you can change this thickness and the diameter according to your requirement from these options, this one and this washer profile. Okay, now we have changed this uh, anchor rod and nut and washer profiles from this window. Now coming to this spacing, we can control from bolts window. So click on here bolt and here also we need to take the anchor size 20, same as bolt size also. So we need to take 20 millimeter and tolerance we're going to take here 3 millimeter and click on modify to see the result. Now coming to the spacing, now column orientation you can see this is the flange and this is the column flange and this is the web and this is the web. That means this uh, side indicates the length of this base plate and this side indicates the width of this base plate. Now coming to in our example, you can see now this is the length of this base plate. In the length wise, we have edge distance here 100 and 100. So we're going to enter the edge distance from here 100. We don't have any options here. That means the top and uh, bottom edge distance will be the same. So we're going to take here 100 millimeter and uh, now we have number of uh, rows in the length as you can see one and two so under the spacing between these two rows we have 200 millimeters so we need to enter here number of rows two and the spacing between these two bolts we have 200 millimeter when, and then click on modify to see the result here you can see like this now coming to width width side in our example we have width side Edge distance we have 50 millimeter and 50 millimeters from bolt to edge of this plate in the width side, and we need to enter this ed edge distance here 50 millimeter and here also 50 millimeter. Then click on modify to see the result. Now coming to the number of bolts in the width side. In our example, you can see in the width side direction we have number of rows one and two. So under the spacing is the 100 millimeter. So we need to enter here number of rows two and the spacing is the 100 millimeter then click on modify to see the result you can see you'll get like this then click on modify apply ok click on space right click on mouse rear view you can see now we have base plate like this ok now I'm going to check this uh, base plate width and uh, length and thickness of this base plate uh, to cross check with this example so go to plan view so click on window and select this planet zero and zoom it here uh, to hide this uh, welding symbols and this cutting planes click on space right click on mouse redraw view okay to hide this uh, component symbol double click on space then click on here display and under the you can see we have option here component symbol this uh, symbol indicates the in model create so to remove this symbol just remove this tick mark then click on modify apply ok to remove this component symbol in the model only particularly in this view so now i'm going to check the spacing so click on edit and click on here measure under measure we have different options here currently we're going to take horizontal distance and pick the first point here and pick the second point that should be exactly at the middle of this bolt click on here second point and click on here the spacing will be displayed at here you can see 100 millimeter similar we're going to check the remaining two bolt spacing also first one and pick the second point and click on here to place the distance and pick the first point and pick the second point and click on here to place the spacing you can see uh, pick the first point and pick the second point and click on here to place the 
total length of this base plate. Right click on mouse interrupt to exit the command. Now we're going to check with our example. You can see total width to 400 and uh, we have 100 edge distance. 200 is the pitch distance. So you can see 100, 200 and 100. Now coming to in the width side. Now click on here measure and select this vertical distance and pick the first point and pick the second point and place it here and pick the first point and pick the second point here and place it here. Now coming to first point and pick the edge distance second point here and check the overall width pick the first point and second point and click on here to place the distance right click on mouse interrupt now we're going to check the spacing width side you can see we have edge distance 50 100 and 50 edge distance you can see we have 50 100 and 50 and total length should be 200 millimeter you can see 200 now coming to we're going to check the base plate thickness so click on here window and select this 3d view when you take the elevation view along grid you can check from elevation on grid 1 or b so we're going to check uh, elevation along grid 1 so click on here window and select this view list and we're going to take elevation along grid 1 so select this one and click on this arrow to open view list and close here and currently we are in elevation 1 you can see uh, at the top elevation on grid 1 currently we are in elevation on grid 1 view now we're going to check this thickness here so click on here measure and select this vertical distance because this thickness in the direction of vertical so we need to take from measure and select this vertical distance and pick the first point here and pick the second point and click on here to place the distance you can see now here the spacing is the 16 millimeter you can see in our example we have the thickness is the 16 millimeter Similarly, you can check this uh, uh, projection and oral total length of the anchor also. For example, you can see, click on here measure and select this vertical distance and pick the first point here and pick the second point at the top of this base plate and click on here to place the spacing, 15 mm, 50 millimeter. Now, we're going to check the oral length of this anchor. So, pick the first point here and zoom it and pick the second point and click on here to place the dimension. You can see we have 500 millimeter oral length just like this okay these are these dimensions are checking dimensions so you can remove this uh, checking dimensions then right click on mouse interrupt click on space to remove this uh, checking dimensions you need to click on space right click on mouse click on here radar view similarly click on window and select this planet zero you can also remove this checking dimensions so click on space right click on mouse radar view okay now click on window and select this 3D view. You can see just like that you can create this type of base plate in Tecla Structures 2022 version. Okay, that's it about how to create this type this type of base plate in Tecla Structures. If you like this video, please like it. And if you have any doubts, please comment below. For more Tecla Structure related videos, please go to my channel, Gani SK YouTube channel. Okay, please click on thanks button at the bottom of this video and support me. Okay, thank you.